Hey everyone, welcome to Brad's Gadgets. Today I got a cool little Costco find for you if you're into flashlights, and that is the Infinity X1 dual powered hybrid flashlight. This baby is 5,000 lumens. Look how bright it is, even in the box. That's pretty bright. So let's jump right into all the features. 5,000 lumens at its brightest with the rechargeable battery, even in the box. What kind of self-respecting man doesn't like a good flashlight? Look no further than the Infinity X1. I don't know what it is about flashlights, but every flashlight aisle, you go down to see what they got. This one happened to be staring me in the face and the price was right. Construction. First of all, it's two inches by 12 inches long. It's all aluminum. It's got a rechargeable power pack inside. It comes with a secondary power pack, which houses nine Duracell batteries and they come pre-installed. That's like 15 bucks worth of batteries right there. It's got a twist focusing beam. It's got three different power levels. Brightest, little less, little less, and off. We've also got a power level indicator right on the body itself. It's fully made of aluminum and it's got this cool little twist twist feature here and you can see there's two USB ports one is for in for charging the flashlight the other one is an out and you can actually charge your phone with it in emergency that's a pretty good feature I've never seen that on a flashlight before at its brightest setting at 5000 lumens with the rechargeable pack now the alkaline pack is only 1200 lumens okay so it's not quite as much power but I can feel the heat on my face. That's how bright this thing is. Now, you see how it turned off and that was because I covered the lens. So that's a safety feature too. So you see it's on, put my hand on it, it's off. On the bottom end here, you've got these little connectors and you can put a, a wrist strap on it or hang it off of something if you wanted. There's a lot of features packed into this flashlight. Now change the battery pack, let's just say power's out, you've exhausted all the power out of the rechargeable pack, all you do is unscrew the bottom, pull the recharging pack out, put the alkaline pack in, and screw it back on. Okay. Now the USB ports are on the rechargeable pack, so you can't possibly charge the alkaline batteries by mistake. Now, as far as brightness goes, yes, it's a lot less bright with the nine uh, AA batteries, but in an emergency situation, you've doubled the life now of this flashlight. All right, so what all comes with this flashlight? You've got your alkaline battery pack that's in here. Also comes with a rechargeable pack, already pre-installed. And they even give you this really cool USB-C cable with the uh, anodized red uh, Infinity logo on it. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So what's the price point of this? In store in Canada, it was $39.95 on the shelf. Now on Costco Canada, it was $49.99. And that's because they usually bump up the price a little bit to cover the shipping. But in the USA, it's also $39.95. So uh, that's quite the flashlight you're getting for 40 bucks. I don't think you're gonna see quite the same flashlight for the same amount of money. That's a lot of light. Let's take it outside and see how well it does in the dark. So I wandered down to the local construction site and just kind of wanted to see exactly how far we could see with this flashlight. The street lights in this area are like an orange. So the orange that you're seeing outside of that beam is the uh, light coming from the street lights, which was perfect because it contrasted exactly for what you can see and what you can't see here. Take into consideration the, um, the Insta360 ONE R is uh, it's a 4K camera, but 
it doesn't really pick up always what your eyes see, let alone in the dark. Uh, here we have it dialed out to the widest setting, and now I'm just going to focus it in to the focused beam. And uh, you can see it lights up this uh, backhoe pretty good. And we'll just walk over here a little bit. Uh, as you can see, those street lights are very bright orange. It's also rated at IPX4 uh, weatherproofing. So what that is, is basically splash proof from every direction, but don't submerge it in anything. All right, so again, it's 5,000 lumens is what's claimed on the box. Uh, when you dial it into the spot beam, Infinity claims it's good for 180 meters. Conclusion, if you're in the market for a flashlight, for the price of this, that's a no-brainer. Just all the stuff that you get with it alone. Plus the sheer weight of this thing. Wow. Probably something good and handy to have in the car. And if you know, you know. All right, with the Alkaline Pack installed, we got 746 grams. And now with the Rechargeable Pack, we're looking at 741 grams. Or I guess you'd say around 1.1 pounds. I would compare this with the likes of Maglite, and you don't have to put all those D-cell batteries in it. That is fantastic. For the price of this, and you need a flashlight, head to your local Costco. Uh, now, same disclaimer as all my other videos. Uh, I didn't get this for free. I didn't get a discount on it or whatever. Just one of those Costco finds I happened to come across while I was at the store, and I knew right away I had to buy it. That price point was just too good for this one. And it is fantastic. You see how much it lights up the way. So I'll put links down below, uh, both to Costco USA and Costco Canada, to this flashlight, and you can go check it out yourself. And if you're in the market for a new flashlight, definitely check one of these out. Um, I don't think you'd be very disappointed in it at all, unless you're looking for a miniature one or something. But a good emergency flashlight, you're not going to beat this for the price. Anyways, hopefully I brought you enough information to decide whether or not one of these is right for you. And if I did, I would appreciate a like, maybe even a subscribe. And don't forget down in the bottom right hand corner, you got that little bell there to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, well, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I can feel the heat off that. If I break. This thing is like lightsaber size. I say I'm not there. Okay, so you can't. Oh shit. Did I record? I'm recording. So you can't accidentally charge the Duracells. <laughs>